Hi everybody, welcome to Drawing with Mr. D. I'm just finishing up my drawing of the week, which is a maze. Drawing mazes looks really hard, but it's super easy if you know the trick, which I'm gonna show you now. Idea in drawing a maze is that there's always a path through. So when you're making your path, it doesn't really matter how complicated it is, as long as there's two sides of the path that don't touch. So if I make a path where the two sides don't touch, then there's a way right through the middle. Even if my path has parts that look really crazy, there's a way right through the middle. Even if each side of my path has parts that go off the path, as long as those pieces don't touch the other side, then there's a way through the maze. So I have two sides. And even if those pieces go near each other, if one side doesn't touch the other side, then there's a way through. You just have to remember everything that starts on one side cannot touch the other side. even if it goes close. And then there'll be a way through. So when I make my two sides, I like to make a shape. So I'm going to do a new maze here. I'm going to have a, a pirate who is looking for a treasure. So I'm going to make two lines, but I'm going to make them in the shape of a boat, just like I made two lines in the shape of a cactus. So I have to have an opening. I'm going to have the start opening right by the pirate, and I'm going to come down and I'm going to make the bottom of the boat. I like to make my maze nice and big so that I have room to make a lot of lines. After I make that bottom line, I'm going to make the top line of my boat. I'm going to make a mast and a sail. I'm going to make the mast kind of big so I can get some maze lines through there. I'm going to make a little flag on the top of my sail. There we go. And then when I make the rest of the top of the boat here, I'm gonna leave an opening. So you can see when I do it in marker where I can make changes if I want, I think I'll make this part of the boat a little bigger. I have two lines. I have a bottom line of my boat and it could be anything you wanted. It could be a car, it could be a dinosaur. So long as you have two sides left and right, or top and bottom, then you can make a maze where the top line has pieces that don't connect to the bottom lines, and the bottom lines have pieces that don't connect to the top line. And that's how you make a maze. Here's my two line drawing, like that. So you can start at the pirate, and end up at the mast and come down and get the treasure. So again, those top lines can come down and they can be kind of like step lines, like stairs. So as long as the top lines don't touch the bottom lines, they can wrap all around each other. So here's some top lines. I have my bottom line 
go here and then maybe down here. Like that. And then I'm gonna go ahead and go around one of my top lines with the bottom line, but they don't touch. See, they don't touch. So even if I have a bottom line and a top line that are close to each other, as long as they don't touch, then it's okay. Even if that top line or bottom line looks confusing, there's a simple way through. So I'm make some more top lines here. And then a bottom line go around. Maybe I'll have a bottom line over here. Maybe I'll have one here. Sometimes I can use a dotted line too, as long as the top lines and the bottom lines don't touch, it's okay. So there it is, top and bottom lines making a maze. And because the top and bottom lines don't touch, there's a way through. I hope you had fun making a maze. You can always color it in when you're done. And when you're done, you can show it to your family and see if they can find their way through. Bye-bye.